When I first created Control N, it was in a desire to democratize dance. I believe art is a powerful tool to connect with a community and spark social reflection. I wanted to share a choreographic process with the audience, have them experience creation firsthand, how to put thoughts, reflections into movement. Each performance becomes a unique experience depending on the ideas offered by the audience. In Control N, the co-creation takes place in a digital conversation. Anybody with a cell phone can easily participate anonymously, which allows for all voices to be heard, even someone who would be too shy to speak up in front of an audience. The digital conversation also brings a reflection on today's social media. What is the impact of our words? How are we participating to the conversation in this digital era? Are we feeling overloaded with information? These are the reflections that Peace Control N offers. In terms of logistics, Control N is easy to tour, with only three artists on stage. The dancer, the musician, and the digital artist. We perform in a variety of settings like a park, outside of a theater, inside an art gallery, in an intimate theater, so outdoors or indoors are both possible. I also want to mention that Control N is very light technically, even if using digital technology. We provide the LED screen for outdoor performances, or we can use a traditional projector indoors. Control N is a 25-minute piece which is often performed twice in the same day. I really enjoy following it up with a post-show talk, giving people the opportunity to share how they experience the co-creation with the artists, giving them some insight also on our creative process. Another community engagement activity I like to do is a workshop where people can learn some basic flamenco movements and then use it to create with different themes, so they explore co-creation within their own body. <laughs> 